So uh, food is actually one of the most interesting things uh, to have in your life. And most people, they eat it for enjoyment or because they want to get to work and they want to have a lot of strength for eating and stuff like this. But in all cases, like what we started out uh, is an idea when we started with this app uh, that uh, food is uh, basically a medication. So at the moment when you are eating on a frequent uh, basis and you are becoming more aware of what food actually does to you, then at that moment you start noticing what an enormous help it is to be able to define or to be aware of the fact that food changes you so much, right? In the beginning, one of the things that you said is food, uh, you are what you eat, right? And we talked about uh, Jing and so on. And uh, how uh, when you eat chicken, you eat uh, chickenish of the chicken, right? And not uh, not its calories or minerals or vitamins or something like this. But you don't need this kind of ideas uh, to to be able to divide what uh, what food is going to do to you. Um, <clears throat> the interesting thing is though that at all when you start noticing about food, what it does to you in a negative sense and in a positive sense, that you can't you can't resolve a lot of things with just food and medication in that sense also is food. But the moment when you become aware of the fact that uh, medication is just a form of food, and at that moment you start becoming a little bit more careful about medication also at the same time, because you see that it is food for emergencies, right? And in Chinese medicine, there's like a basic rule, you don't take medication unless you're almost dying. And so the reason is uh, because all, all herbs are basically poison, right? So at the moment when you take herbs, at that moment, uh, the side effects of the food are also there. Like you see uh, in the, what we just did today, there is no symmetry between the different kind of qualities of taste, right? All the different kinds of things that we do, they become highly complicated at the moment when you want to find that symmetry. And because that symmetry is not there, uh, it is an endless project to try to compensate something with food from food, right? Um, so at the moment when we are uh, uh, looking at food, you have to always be aware of the fact that medication only makes food things that are going wrong even worse, right? So that is basically why, for instance, I like I drink Camilla tea sometimes because it's pretty neutral. But like many other teas, uh, I, herbal teas, I never drink just like that. And even green tea, I try to avoid as much as possible because green tea is not that healthy. Right? They say it is antioxidant, but if you just eat a few blueberries every day or something like this, you have like 10 times more antioxidants, right? Or kale, just like something like this. You get way better antioxidants than you would ever get from green tea. Green tea is addictive, like a black tea and like coffee and so on. Yeah, so in that sense, uh, it can be very misguiding uh, to drink a lot of these kind of teas. And with herbal tea, like a lot of people drink... Uh, uh, all kind of seeds in their tea. You know, you buy this ready-made tea in the Netherlands, you have them, so I'm sure you have them in every other country. And these are very often for calming your stomach or something. But in fact, they're cooling your stomach. So they create actually cold dampness, which on the long term can actually slow down the workings of your stomach so that your digestion doesn't work as good. Well, they work perfectly when you eat uh, too much meat. But at the moment when you, for instance, eat less, they are the last thing you want to have in your body. Yes? So these kind of things are very important and it's important to be aware of these kind of things, especially when you exercise, because at the moment when you do an exercise uh, sequence and you feel a bit weak, uh, what do you do? You take a cookie. <laughs> Have you caught yourself already when you are doing exercise, you thought like, oh, I really need a cookie or a piece of chocolate or I want to get myself a pizza. <laughs> yes? Now, so that is the that is the thing that where your body is continuously misguiding you uh, because uh, no certain kind of tricks about how to feel better about all kind of things. And so by understanding what food does to you, uh, you become more smart in it and you start to become aware of how you can nourish yourself better at certain points without making yourself heavy or making yourself cold or making yourself hot. Yes? Yes. All right. Very good. So... That was a very nice session actually today. You know, I'm going to stop this recording because uh, if there's anybody, nobody has any questions about this topic, otherwise I'm going to have to put the recording on again. Nobody has any questions about this? Great.